Hi everyone. Thanks for tuning into the Duncan Aviation Straight Talk webinar. We're going to give everyone a couple more seconds to tune in. Perfect. Well, we're going to get started then. Uh, my name is Harrison Duncan and in the room with me today is Matt Spain and Chris Nelson. Matt, do you want to start us off and give us a quick introduction? I sure will. Thank you, Harrison. Uh, I've been with Duncan for 39 years. I was actually one of the first five that started the interior department back in 1981. Uh, worked through the interior group and managed it for about 15 years. And now for the last 10 years, I've been in the uh, the sales side. Perfect. Chris? Fantastic. Well, I'm not as old as uh, Matt, but uh, <laughs> I've just been here 22 years. I've uh, been in the finish shop and uh, making things happen. Awesome. Good deal. Perfect. Well, and I'm Harrison Duncan as well. I'm in the marketing department and um, yeah, fourth generation Duncan and uh, here to talk about uh, interior solutions today. Perfect. Well, thank you guys again for tuning in and a couple of quick housekeeping issues before we get started. We'll have time at the end of this webinar dedicated to questions you may have. At any time during the webinar, feel free to submit questions on the chat bar located on the right side of your screen. If you don't get your question answered, a member of our team will reach out to you via email. If at any point you have connection issues, hit the reconnect button at the top of your right at the top of your screen. Everyone who registered for this webinar will be sent an email link 24 hours after the conclusion with a link to watch the replay. It will also be on your on our website and social media. For this webinar, we're going to be discussing hydrographics, vinyl wrap, and other interior solutions. We will also discuss the process, benefits, and showcase a few of our award-winning interiors. Perfect. So let's jump right in here. So Chris, talk to me about hydrographics. What are hydrographics? Thanks, Harrison. Well, essentially, uh, hydrographics is just a gra graphic process that uh, is applied through a, a water transfer. Um, essentially, um, the, one of the benefits here is, is getting uh, items that uh, are have a little more difficult contour uh, so that you can get uh, a customized finish. So Chris, what kind of substrates uh, can you put this material on? Well, essentially, you know, anything that you can paint, uh, you can get a hydrographic dip on. Obviously, there's uh, some areas that we want to stay away from inside cubbies, uh, different things like that. But uh, exterior surfaces that are hard to cover with uh, veneer and uh, other things like that will be ideal uh, for the hydrographic solutions. Perfect. Awesome. So we obviously have a very experienced and talented team uh, when it comes to this kind of stuff. And uh, Chris, why exactly did we decide to start adding hydrographic solutions for our customers? Well, really, the inspiration came uh, from a project that we did. Uh, we'll talk a little bit, a bit about later, but um, uh, it really offers a lot of uh, opportunities and ways to be innovative. Um, actually, uh, the hydrographic process isn't a new new technology by any means. Um, it's been around for some time in the automotive industry. Um, you can find hunting gear, uh, gun stocks, uh, dipped in camo, different things like that. We've just found that it's not very prevalent uh, in the aviation industry, which we're looking to change. Awesome. Good deal. So let's talk a little bit about the process behind hydro dipping and uh, other different interior components. So. Chris, do you want to go through the process? You bet. So right here, we've got Austin in spray booth. Uh, of course, wearing his personal protective equipment. Uh, he's applying the base coat uh, on a divider right here. Uh, the interesting part about the base coat is obviously it can be customized, uh, custom matched to uh, your interior, uh, carpet, sidewalls, headliner, uh, whatever whatever matches what we can apply this base coat. It's really a, a, an automotive uh, base coat, uh, base coat, clear coat system. So right here, we're just laying out the film. Um, obviously we wanna cut that uh, film a bit larger than the piece so that it gives it 
uh, room to um, expand and contour and be able to cover the whole piece um, without any problems. Chris, I noticed in the slide there, the uh, material comes in a roll. Uh, what size of roll does it come in or can be customers at just a certain size we use? What, what is it? Yeah, typically it's going to come in about a 48 inch roll. Uh, obviously, uh, the length is whatever you want. Um, our particular um, tank is 10 foot, uh, which is allows us to uh, dip quite a quite a few parts, uh, 48 inches. Uh, just to kind of put that into perspective, um, you know, your globals and your Challenger mid cabin dividers are usually pretty uh, pretty thick. Uh, pretty I large. think that would that would um, that cover that would cover it. Perfect. Right here, uh, laying the film on the water. Uh, multiple ways to do this. Uh, we chose here a uh, two-person process. Uh, one of the key factors that we wanna want to uh, look at here is not catching any air bubbles in between the water and the film. Uh, so this process uh, with, with the two people allows us a little more control, especially with bigger pieces. So spraying the activator right here. Um, pretty interesting process. Um, as you can see, uh, once the, once the film is laid on the water, uh, you got a little bit of a, a matte sheen there. Once that activator goes on, it comes out to a glass finish, completely conforms to the water. Uh, really interesting, uh, process. Perfect. Standing. Now we got the dip from here. Uh, looks easy, but uh, a lot of technique involved in the actual dip. Um, obviously, a lot of prep work before, uh, but coming in uh, at the 45 degree angle, uh, a lot of different techniques that you can use uh, for different um, different scenarios and different shapes. Uh, but for our flat divider here, we're coming in at a 45 degree angle. Perfect. Then we're uh, rinsing off the PVA on this one, which is a poly polyvinyl alcohol uh, that gets left behind after the dip. Um, it's very important at this stage that all of that gets rinsed off for adhesion purposes. Uh, so that's that's just uh, plain water that uh, that we're spraying on there. And then after this, it's just going to get uh, dried. Um, and once it's dried, uh, completely dried, then we'll uh, be ready for top coat. Applying the top coat um, is pretty similar to what we're going to be putting on uh, existing cabinetry, urethane finish, uh, top coat. Um, pretty standard in the industry as well. Um, so pretty straightforward there. So Chris, I'd seen the slide, that's a Challenger 300 aft lavatory. And I know that that uh, sink top is a, a solid surface poured material. <clears throat> and whenever a customer wants to change his interior and change the color, um, can you tell us a little bit about how the hy hydrographics makes it better, quicker, et cetera, to, to mimic that uh, the product that may be in, versus building a whole new one? Right. Obviously, in this case, uh, certification uh, for this particular sink uh, is a big issue, uh, and the cost uh, to get a new one uh, is is very uh, very expensive. So, the nice thing about this sink, uh, it has a pretty unique contour to it, uh, which makes it a prime candidate for uh, the dipping process. Um, I think in the past we may have done like a faux finish on this or something like that. But uh, just the technology um, with the hydro dip just comes out so much better than than even a faux finish would. Absolutely, looks fantastic. Uh, last stage, uh, obviously, uh, nearly everything that we do is going to be sanded and polished uh, to a high gloss mirror gloss finish. Um, gotcha. Then Chris, here we have um, two a few pictures here carbon fiber. And uh, do you want to talk a little bit about um, those finishes there in that picture? Yeah, absolutely. Uh, carbon fiber obviously is um, a very popular choice. Uh, one of the benefits of uh, the hydrographic 
um, carbon fiber one, so many different patterns. And like I said before, the technology and the realistic look of even the hydro dip is simply amazing. Uh, but the base coats that you can put behind uh, the hydrographic, we've got uh, different different paints, even uh, color shifting paints uh, that we can use uh, to customize. Uh, but it really opens up a lot of areas um, to get different colors and different looks with the carbon fiber uh, look as well. So, and Chris, I know with uh carbon fiber material, it's a very popular uh, substrate that people like to have in the airplanes. Uh, but with with it, it's, it's very thick and it's uh, pretty expensive to apply it to uh, an interior, and again, back to certification. So when we put the hydro dip uh, material in, it'll go right over the top of your existing veneered surface, am I correct? Yeah, that's ab absolutely right. Uh, and you're right on target with, uh, you know, real carbon fiber, uh, which is a great look. Uh, but yes, it is, uh, has a thickness issue. Uh, burn, burns can be difficult uh, with real, real carbon fiber. So a lot of, a lot of things that we're taking care of with, with a dip, uh, thickness and certification things wise, it really helped us out. Perfect. And folks, I've uh, seen this process myself and it actually is very impressive. And it just, once again, speaks uh, volumes for the experience our Duncan Aviation team has. Um, so Matt, Chris, real quick, uh, why would you recommend hydro dipping compared to the traditional methods to our customers? Well, we kind of talked a little bit about that. Uh, it has limitless options. So you can, the surfaces are rounded or whatever, and you can apply something that cannot be done before. So your customer, if they can dream it, we can apply it. It's also very uh, time savings uh, when we put this material on versus, and then also helps in the downtime. Uh, so, Chris, anything you want to add to that? Uh, yeah, I think you, uh, again, hit it on the head. Uh, just highly customizable, uh, being competitive. Um, uh, we got uh, in the middle there, we've got a, a couple examples of, of the same film with different uh, base coats. Uh, so you can see an example of, of how different uh, a look you can get just with the different base coat color. Absolutely. And you can also, you know, see to the right there, a uh, Husker logo. Um, we are headquartered here in Lincoln, Nebraska. So plenty of our team members are Husker fans, including myself. And uh, you really can get a different look and switch things in and out quite a bit, can't you? Well, that's absolutely right. Shout out to the Huskers. Absolutely. Huskers. Awesome. Uh, but yeah, they, the, uh, the Huskers insert, that's a great, um, great avenue we're working on. Uh, removable inserts uh, for customers to be able to uh, even change up their interior for different uh, game day uh, scenarios, holidays, different things like that. So perfect. So here we have a bunch of pictures of, you know, different items that we've hydro dipped. And uh, Matt, what exactly, you know, out of the airplane that we can, what can we hydro dip? Well, I guess it's really whatever you're, uh, whatever you can envision or dream up, we can probably hydro dip it. But we've done it so far on bulkheads, card table inserts, counters, timbre doors, etc. So, I'm sure the more we use it, we're going to find more areas where we can we can apply it. But um, those are just a few. Perfect. So here, folks, we're going to transition over away from the hydro dipping, uh, which is a great option, into another great option, our vinyl wrapping. And, uh, yeah. So, uh, Matt, you want to talk a little bit about uh, the pictures that we have here and also a little bit about vinyl wrap? Absolutely. The, that is a Citation uh, Excel cabinet that has been completely vinyl wrapped. This was basically one of the things that uh, Chris and his team were using as their template to figure out how it would work. And it turned out very, very well. Um, and we were approached by one of our fleet operators a few years ago. They were trying to find a less expensive and quicker solution to uh, refurb their cabinetry because uh, they want these airplanes in the air flying at all times. So they came to us, they said they saw this in Europe and would we be interested in trying to do this? Chris and his team went to work, found a way, and we've been applying it on to their fleet 
uh, ever since. So it's been a, a really good experience. We feel that this can fit for a lot of customers that uh, would want this, not just fleet operators, but this is a good solution for, for many, many people. Absolutely. Keep the airplane in the air. That's for sure. And uh, Chris, do you want to talk a little bit about that unique picture that we have to the right? Yeah, this is a interesting design that a, a customer asked us to uh, produce for them. Um, essentially, this is a, a mock-up divider that we did for this customer. Uh, it's a bookcase, obviously, so it just is a good good example of of uh, you know Matt's been talking about. If you can dream it, we can put it on. So this is a perfect case here. Um, we've even got a couple of doors that um, we've got some full pictures that uh, would would represent like a, a full dividers and doors together uh, having a picture. Uh, so really awesome customizable uh, options here with per the vinyl. Perfect. Yeah. Thank you, Chris. Yeah. And we have a question over here uh, off to our right. And uh, the question is, so the downtime, what would you say a downtime would be to refinish um, a Citation 10 or a Challenger uh, 300? Okay, well, thanks for the question, Stephen. But I'd say on a Citation 10 refinish, we're going to refinish all the cabinets. It's going to be about six weeks to do a refinish, where when we do the vinyl wrapping, the team can do that roughly in a couple of weeks. Perfect. Well, that really proves uh, the downtime there and uh, the differences. So here are some more examples, folks, of uh, different uh, parts of the aircraft that we've vinyl wrapped in the past. And Matt, do you want to talk a little bit about that? Yes, this is a, a Challenger 300, and it is for one of our, our fleet operators. It uh, gives you an example of the quality finish that it, uh, it produces. It shows the card table, there's a galley, the tamper doors, and also the uh, switch area, just to, just to show you. Yeah, so this case, uh, we've really, uh, obviously, one of the, the main concerns of the vinyl is it's going to be edges and seams uh, to get a professional look um, that those don't come up. Uh, we've really done a, a good job of research and uh, testing, come up with a process to um, make a 100% sealed edges and complete uh, sealed seams. Um, so the, the final result is very, very professional, very good looking. And, you know, one thing I forgot to mention, Chris, and thank you for that, is the, our fleet operator also wanted to be able to repair these in the field so they would not have to bring the aircraft back to be done. Can we talk about, let's say if someone uh, scratches the card table surface, is that something that can be done in the field quickly? And how would we do that? Sure, there's a couple different ways uh, that it can be repair, repaired in the field, and you're exactly right. That's one of the uh, one of the big huge benefits of vinyl uh, is the repairability. So on a door or drawer, um, you know, obviously that can just be taken off and rewrapped um, on a on a bulkhead and stuff like that. In the field, uh, they've got the techniques to actually uh, do a spot repair as well to make that uh, nearly completely invisible. Outstanding. And once again, folks, I just mentioned, you know, Duncan Aviation experience speaks for itself right there. We can do this type of work in-house here in Lincoln, Battle Creek, you know, or um, any of our locations, really, or we can um, come right there to you to help you out. Then also here in these pictures, we have some very unique uh, projects that we've done in the past and uh, it's really some immaculate interior solutions here. Matt, do you want to talk a little bit about the picture on the left? I sure will. Thank you, Harrison. <clears throat> on the left, is a Global Express we did for a customer not too long ago, and it showcases, uh, if you look at the windows, these are uh, no longer window shades, they're uh, dimmable solutions. So you hit a button, they go from dark to light, light to dark, so there's no moving parts, a much, uh, I guess, uh, seamless uh, product. And this also, in the, in the background, you'll see the bulkhead that was kind of our inspiration that we had an outside vendor do for us, that's a hydro-dipped Bulkhead, so that's where we kind of said, "Hey, what can we do to do this in house?" So that's just a couple, was kind of the start. And then in the, in the middle photos, it's also for a Global Express. Those steps are a Duncan design, so we build these custom designed stainless steps with the rubber tread inserts. Then we can install those on your Global Express. That's one of the unique Duncan uh, features. Also below that, the lighted cup holders. Those can be put into any airplane. Uh, but we build those here at Duncan Aviation. You can see that it has a blue 
uh, LED light, but we can do any different color you like. Uh, also on the right is uh, the same Global Express, uh, the forward galley, just to show what our artisans can do with uh, their veneer capabilities. So that's just a few things. <clears throat> Real quick, uh, I'm gonna jump in. I see Robin Butler has a question here. Uh, does the vinyl wrap require a clear top coat? Uh, the ones, the vinyl wrap uh, that we're doing right now uh, for our customer is not top coated, but interestingly enough, um, the vinyls can be top coated uh, so you can have a, uh, a clear uh, matte or satin finish uh, to help protect that as well. So thanks for that question, Robin. There you go. Provides a different look, that's for sure. And um, then we have this incredible job that we did in the past as well. Uh, Matt, do you want to talk a little bit about that? Yeah, the, this was an outside designer coming in wanting a certain look on their Global Express, and they worked with our internal designers who are uh, obviously know the aviation world. So we were able to work together to create this uh, very unique and uh, exquisite interior. You can see the seat designs over to the left and also in the middle, that's a galley design that has a, a metal mesh front on the lower galleys. And then, then again, a very unique uh, design for the lavatory, but it just shows that if uh, you know an outside designer can have uh, influence and we can show them how to make it happen. <clears throat> and this is another very unique one that's uh, near dear to the, the Duncan family. This is a Citation Excel that uh, uh, Karen Duncan had put her inspiration to and uh, where the that's uh, the very unique embroideries uh, with the the strawberry uh, strawberry red seat leather and I believe there's a, even a chair there that has a, a raven embroidered on it. And that was uh, what Karen's wishes were. It was something that I guess represents good luck. And uh, Harrison, I know you, you've got some information about this too. I think we had a local artist. We did. We had a local Lincoln, Nebraska artist um, work with our design team and uh, work with my grandparents to really make this incredible airplane um, a reality. And uh, they sure enjoy, you know, taking it around. And it truly is a flying billboard for Duncan Aviation. And uh, it shows our team's experience. It shows um, the incredible work that they can do. And uh, yeah, it's a beautiful airplane. So here folks, that's about all we have um, to present to you about uh, innovative uh, interior solutions here at Duncan Aviation. And uh, like we've said, we've got lots of options. We have lots of folks that are ready to help you um, make your dream a reality. And um, we have a professional design group here in house um, and we have lots of uh, options, of course, like I've said. And also I'd mentioned, you know, our my Duncan Aero service that we provide, whether you're here at a, at one of our facilities or you're working remotely. Um, it's easy to uh, communicate with our project managers and go over squawks, go over um, different things that we need to communicate and get approved. And then I'd also mention, you know, all of our other services here at Duncan Aviation. You know, we really truly are a one-stop shop for business aviation. Tip to tail service inside and out. And, uh, you know, we do aircraft sales. Obviously, we do our airframe maintenance, our paint interior. And then, like we've mentioned in this webinar, our uh, interior solutions as well. And then here are the contact information for uh, Matt Spain and Chris Nelson. Please feel free to uh, reach out to those folks. Um, they're great resources for questions and uh, quotes and anything you're really interested in. And now, actually, we will uh, work our way into the Q&A session. So first, uh, we'll start off with um, Stephen's question here. Um, have you seen any wear of the vinyl where the top coat finish of the vinyl wears off? So <clears throat> right now, uh, we've been very successful with the wear um, on the vinyl process so far. Um, so I would equate it to the equivalency of um, a satin finish. Really, um, any kind of uh, finish on cabinetry is going to experience some wear. Um, but as far as the, the actual print, uh, I don't anticipate that wearing off. Uh, just your normal uh, skew uh, shoe scuff uh, or uh, obviously if, it, if an if impact it tears. tears or something like that, uh, which is normal wear and tear. Um, obviously the repairability will, will come into play there. Right, Stephen, we actually had a, re a real incident where uh, in, in our fleet operators aircraft, 
uh, one of the customers um, was in a wheelchair and was kind of going down the, the aisle and, and uh, kind of tore up a little bit of the cabinetry. And that just was a testament to how they could have it repaired quickly in the field and why they also chose a pattern of a wood pattern that was very repeatable. So you could apply it right to the door face and it would blend right in with the rest of the uh, cabinetry without having to, typically you'd have to either re-veneer or refinish the whole, the whole unit. Great. So next um, we'll also ask, you know, how can we uh, address the uh, burn certs for these types of processes? Absolutely. Uh, great question, Stephen. Uh, burn certs, obviously, uh, one of those hair pulling uh, scenarios that everybody uh, dreads dealing with. Um, we've had very good luck uh, with burn certs on uh, the vinyl process, which essentially, uh, just to go into a little bit of a little bit of detail on that, um, essentially we're we're using a uh, the the substrate that's already passed burn. Uh, so in our certs, uh, we apply vinyl over that, send them out. We've had great luck with burn certs as well, um, as well as with, with uh, the hydrographic process. Uh, haven't had any issues so far, haven't had any failures um, with burn certs. So that's, that's a huge bonus. Perfect. And then we have another question here from Laura. Um, can we speak a little bit on the durability of the hydrographic coating? So durability is going to be uh, consistent with uh, any of your typical cabinets that's got, um, you know, a urethane top coat on it. Um, obviously, it's going to, uh, if you get any impact damage, um, uh, that's going to show. As long as it doesn't go through the, the uh, clear right. coat, you can repair it. Yeah. I would say any scenario, it's going to be, it's going to be as durable as your existing cabinets. Perfect. And one thing I just mentioned too, if you really do ding something really, really hardly, you know, once again, because of the cost effectiveness, it's easy. It's easier to come back and replace something. Isn't that correct? Very much so. And, and quicker to quicker to turn, turn it as well. Yep. Perfect. Perfect. So um, now we'll weave uh, into some more questions here. Um, let's just say we have a picture of a family, your family, you know, or a, a team or a place that you really enjoy. Um, can you put that picture on a card table? And uh, how can we go about doing that, Chris? Yeah, absolutely. Uh, I would say, you know, uh, I think we've said it here in the uh, webinar already, but if you can dream it, uh, we always love to be challenged and we will make it happen. So um, pictures, designs, um, uh, we're looking to be, to be out there and challenged and, and get that done. Awesome. So let's just say we have another question here as well, folks. Um, so let's just say for one of the galleys you have presented, um, what is the gain in terms of uh, our weight there as far as weight and balance goes? That's a very good question, Olivier. Uh, if we're putting the vinyl material on, the vinyl material itself is almost uh, less than the weight of actual, the clear coat uh, that you would be putting on veneer. So the vinyl is minimal. Uh, so it'd be just considered as a, uh, like a top coat uh, product, if I'm not mistaken. Right, yeah, I would agree with that. So a lot of times um, we're gonna be taking off enough material and putting about about the same uh, back on. So, um, if we if we had a a sand and top coat project, um, you're not really going to see a weight gain. I think this would be similar situation. Gotcha. I see, uh, Rick. You have a question regarding cost savings of vinyl versus reveneer cabinetry. And absolutely, there is a cost savings, and that was one of the reasons why our fleet operator came to us. And it will vary on the on the, what that savings would be, but uh, clearly the the labor to do a veneer job, and just the time it takes to do a veneer job, as we mentioned, if we can do the do the vinyl work in a couple of weeks, and then the veneer takes six weeks plus, you can just see that the the savings will be significant. Perfect, and I'd add on to that too, uh, Matt. What would be the cost savings of a uh, hydro dipping? 
versus same, uh, reveneer. Same thing. Uh, it, it, you know, you know, we're still going to do the top coat process, but we pretty much eliminate the whole application of the veneer. The cost of the veneer is we're removing the veneer. We're removing the veneer. It's very right. time consuming, and costly. So the the hydro dipping, which doesn't add much of anything as far as thickness, is quicker, faster, and less expensive. Outstanding. Cool. Well, I think um, we're actually going to wrap it up here, folks. And uh, once again, thank you so much for uh, tuning in. Matt, Chris, thank you for joining us. Any other comments from either of you guys? Not for me. No. Thanks, Good. Harrison. Thanks, awesome. Harrison. Thank you, guys. Awesome. And once again, thanks again, folks. Um, please check out our website, duncanaviation.arrow slash straight talk for future webinars and podcasts. We would appreciate any feedback or requests for webinars. You can reach out to us at Duncan Aviation Straight Talk at duncanaviation.com. And thanks again.